Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk to you about content scraping and more specifically the dangers of content scraping. I'm going to go through why this is so dangerous. We're also going to talk about the fact that in its essence it's completely legal. It's a legitimate way for big corporations to run their businesses. I'm going to show you examples of that. We're going to talk about the overarching strategy behind content scraping and I'm going to show you an example of one of these shiny object pr uh, products that promises get rich quick big sums of money from taking other people's content from their websites we're going to have a look at example of that you're here with the School of Affiliates and I'm Charlie Bradford if you're new to this channel then hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you can stop to that on all my latest video releases this channel is all about making money online through affiliate marketing and if you're serious about making money online you want to build a legitimate evergreen business then I have something special for you. In the link in the description below this video, you can get access to a 100% free training series that is going to walk you step by step, click by click through the process of building that business. So make sure you go and hit that link in the description, check it out. You've got nothing to lose, guys. 100% free and it's extremely comprehensive. But first off, this is over on Google itself, and you can see they have a, an article here all about content scraping. The assumption is, what this is talking about is the assumption is that if you go to a big site that's getting ranked number one on Google and you take that content, you put it onto your own website, you can then get ranked on Google. And you need to understand some simple facts about search engine optimization. This simply doesn't work. Google looks for unique content. If you're copying someone else's content, not only is it breaking copyright laws and plagiarism, laws and the terms and conditions on a lot of the websites if you can search the terms and conditions on these websites you that you would potentially be taking this content from they absolutely do not allow you to do that because it's their intellectual property simple as that so this is just saying that you know the fact that you're going to do that means that it's probably going to have a negative effect on your website altogether now I did say that this is legal it's perfectly legal and big corporations do use uh, content scrapers the reason I have this there's, there's websites here like this that are legitimate businesses legitimate software and what I do you think of an example say you you had a big e-commerce website and they're on a certain platform maybe Shopify or something like that and they want to change to WordPress for instance but they've got loads and loads of products on there loads of content the time it would take to pay someone to transfer that content from website one website to another would be astronomical. I'm sure you could agree that. So what they do is they use content scrapers to take their own content, it's their own content, and they put it onto another platform, whatever it may be that they're doing, maybe they are carving it, whatever it is, but it's their own content. They can also use it to take other people's content, some of their competitors, and use it for data analysis. Now this is perfectly fine, but using someone else's else's content and publishing it as your own is not it's the, you know you're going against copyright laws plagiarism laws all sorts of things you know if you're looking at these paid softwares as well these shiny objects like the one that we're going to have a look at very shortly over here if you are looking at buying something like you can go and get free versions. there's perfectly free versions out there like this that doesn't it doesn't cost you anything you can download it and you can start scraping websites yourself but again if you're scraping other people's content, you don't own that content and it is not yours to use or publish. Simple as that. You can also do things like this. You know, you can do content scraping, take that and turn it into PDF documents. There's simple softwares like this that are free again that you can go and turn that into a PDF document. Now, the use for this, the legitimate use for this is if it's your content, so you've written a blog post and you want to turn it into a lead magnet potentially or an ebook or something like that, you can go and put it in here without having to write it all again. You can scrape it, put it in here. Perfectly legitimate way to do it if it's your own content. Using other people's blog posts or other people's content, try and turn them into PDF docs is an absolute no-no. It really is. Not only um, is it completely copyright, it's plagiarised, and if anyone searches that, then they're going to find that out very, very quickly. Your reputation, you know, it's going to go down the toilet because no one is going to trust you again. If you do get found out by the people that you've taken that content from, they can take legal action against you. 
It's that serious. It really, really is that serious. So before we go and have a look at one of these shiny objects, what is the overarching strategy? What's the idea behind content scraping? And why is it so bad? So first off, here you are. This is your content scrape. You have a, a tool, a software that's going to scrape other people's websites. So what it does is it searches around. You put in specific keywords, whatever it might be. You search on specific URLs, specific websites for content based on keyword searches. You know, it's going to look on websites. It's going to search for that content, it's going to take that content and then what it can do is it can turn it into PDFs as we've discussed. It can even put it, change it into the YouTube videos. It can also turn it into other articles. You know, there's other options as well, like it can it can publish websites. You can take huge volumes of, tra of uh, content from other people's websites and I'm going to show you a tool that does this. But this will take that information, publish it into your website, and then promise that your website is going to get ranked, you're going to get loads of traffic from it, and it simply doesn't work. You know, the reason for that is it's copyright. It's against copyright. It's plagiarism. It, there's, your content is not unique, and Google knows that. It wants unique content, and it will know that that content has been copied from somewhere else. It's not your intellectual property. It's the intellectual property of the website you've taken it from and a lot of the time in their terms and conditions as I've said it will prevent you from doing it, it will say absolutely no you cannot take it it simply won't work that content is already being indexed by Google so it's already ranking which means your content is not going to rank at all it will not rank because it's already been indexed it's as simple as that and the overarching thing here is it's theft you're stealing other people's property and that is completely illegal and immoral so please don't do it it simply isn't worth it so one of these shiny objects that's what we're going to have a look at this is if you're going to create an empire of profitable niche websites that generate traffic and income without having to write any content now i've just done a review on this product this, is, this product's only just released a few days prior to recording this video um, that's why I wanted to show you this and I wanted to share this video about the, the dangers of content scraping because these products are so, so dangerous. But this is promising that you're going to get traffic and income without writing any content because you're going to go and scrape other people's content. Let's have a look inside the product. So in here, you can go and create a website using this tool and you can go and scrape content. So you can see, if we go and add a post, you can go and select from a whole host of different websites. You can see these are all well-known websites, really, really big websites, news sites. You know, there's BBC News, BBC Sport, CNBC. You know, there's huge websites. And this is basically saying that it's going to go and take that content from there. But if we go and have a look at sites already been created on here, you can see exactly what this looks like. So this is, we go onto this website, this is gonna potentially be your website if you buy a product like this, this shiny object products. And you can see this content's all from BBC News. It's all BBC News. It's been populated by someone else's content and it's plagiarism, copyright. You you know, it is completely more. And, it, and the fact of doing this is not gonna get you anywhere. This website is not going to rank because it's got this content on there. It just doesn't work that way. And you can see this says affiliate marketing here, the models that turned Instagram into their DIY catwalk. This is the quality of the products you're getting. It's not going to get the right content. So if we click on one of these posts, you can see that this is all it shows. There's a bit of information here. You can see the poor quality quality of these websites. It really isn't going to work. If we click onto this to actually read the rest of the article, where does it take us? back to the website they're taking the content from. So how do you expect that to make you any money or drive any traffic? You know, it doesn't, it's not, it just simply doesn't work. All you need to do is use a bit of common sense here. These products simply don't work. So if we come back over here, you, you can see that the strategy behind it is that you're gonna go and take other people's content. You're gonna turn it into whatever it may be, PDFs, websites, whatever, but you're breaking all these rules in the process. The best way to build a legitimate business online is to create high quality content, unique content, your own content that answers the questions of your target audience. It's as simple as that. But the problem is, is it takes time. It takes effort, it takes skill to do that. But anyone can do it, but you just have to get started. And if you want to get started building a legitimate business that way, that is going to take you time, it's going to take you effort. But in the long run, you, you're going to build a business that can earn you income, that can potentially replace 
your nine to five job it can change your life if you want to do that then go and hit the link in the description below go and get access to that free training because that's going to walk you step by step through the process of doing that and you can go and create video content like i'm doing right here on youtube you can go and create written content whatever you want it shows you step by step through that process but that's the legitimate way to do it if you're doing this then it simply doesn't work you won't get traffic you won't get sales you won't get any leads you're gonna be breaking laws you could potentially have lawsuits placed against you for doing stuff like this and th these softwares these softwares here that are getting you to buy these for a very very small amount of money they don't care because they don't care if your website gets pulled up for stealing content from the BBC news because that is a huge corporation if they find out you're doing that they could come after you with lawyers and they've got huge sums of money to be able to come after you you've got no chance of standing up for yourself because everything you're doing right here is completely against the law so please don't use content scrapers unless it's for a legit legitimate reason like copying your own content you've created i hope you understand now the dangers of using content scrapers please avoid them if you've enjoyed the video if you've got value from this please give me a thumbs up and if you have any comments any questions about content scrapers then stick them in the comments below i'd love to hear from you or you can get in touch with me via my email or facebook both of those links are in the description below and again feel free to hit that link below for the free training access to that free training you've got nothing to lose guys if you're looking to make money online that is the best place to start thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you next time